Hello, hello everybody, welcome to Medicaid Lane. We have An Idiot Abroad, Season 2, Episode 6, Route 66. Um, Carl is, is, he's either my favorite person in the world, or like my, one of my top favorite people in the world. I, I just, I love him so much. And the last episode when you could see him like smiling and laughing and stuff at the end, it was just, I don't know. It warms my heart to see a happy Carl. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna see that again because you know happy Carl's it's like seeing a unicorn or whatever. But um, you know, at, at some point, I kind of wanted to see him smile. Anyway, just Route sixty six. Is that like a bucket list thing? It's not like. What do you drive down it or or do you? Smell it? Like, how is that special? I guess we'll find out. Route 66, I've heard of. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Travelling along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it, having a look? Well, it's, just, it's, a, it's a long one. It's um, two and a half thousand miles, one of America's sort of first highways. You see, uh, the thing that worries me is, is it, is it America who's made this seem like it's a good thing to do? What do you because mean? they're well, I just think they're more excitable. When I was in Disneyland, we went some past some fruit on a boat. Three old women getting excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. Now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question. Uh, I've got an answer. Right. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. Yeah. Well, no, but I think I get I get excited at things you should get excited about. Okay. What was the last thing you got excited about? The caravan. <laughs> Smile, smile, just smile, just but fake it. The way he looks up, like I have no idea. He's just smile, so smile, just smile, just fake it. No, fake, do a smile. See, you don't know what you, you <laughs> don't know what that feels like, do you? That's odd to you. No, no, show your teeth. Yeah, yeah. That looks weird. Doesn't really it? weird. I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. Right? It looks weird. So Route 66. You must have heard of that. Yeah, a car without a roof on it, right. driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. <laughs> For a second, this the exact same thing just happened to me in um <laughs> in the Ricky Gervais show, where he was saying you know something holds the cold, and he was saying old cold, and and they were just making fun of it because like I don't know I don't know a lot, not a lot of people got that, and uh and it's funny because I did get it. He was saying something that holds the cold, like retains the cold, and even people were in the comments were like, no no that makes no sense. It totally made sense. You just had to understand it. And um, I just heard a, co a cow without a roof instead of a car. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, since when do cows have roofs? I, I, was, I was mega confused. Right. Okay, Driving we got along. it. We got so, it. We're good. We're Route 66, good. you must have heard of that. Yeah, a cow without a roof on it. See? Right. Driving it sounds along. like it's a cow. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. Right, there you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. That was easy. It's just a road. It's tarmac. It's a road with cars on it. It's like any other road. I don't, I don't think Americans come over here and going, well, oh, where's the M1? I can't wait to get on the M1. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. How is that a bucket list thing? I've... I've... I've only heard of Route 66 and, like... Not even as something important or as something, as something people want to see. Just kind of like, I don't even know why I've heard of it. It wasn't, it was, to me, it was never a thing. So I, 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 I feel your confusion, Carl. Is it the first road over there? The first proper road? First one across America. Everyone thinks the M1 is our first motorway, but it isn't. M6. Preston Bypass, that's the first motorway in the UK. But no one, you don't hear people going on about it. They don't get excited I'm going on the M6 tomorrow, are you? Lucky bastard. Doesn't okay, so the first one is not the M1, it's the M6. It's, and the M6 is not the sixth one, <laughs> as the name would imply. No? Okay, never mind. Doesn't happen. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Less pretty. <laughs> I love it. 
lovely. Right, well, this is it then, oh, isn't it? I'm in uh, California. Mm -hmm. Nice, isn't it? This bit here, the pier, is uh, that's the start of Route 66, and then I think it goes I didn't even know that it. way. From I've freaking been there. Like, I, granted, I was five or six years old, but I've been there. And I didn't even know that. Like, not even, I didn't even find out later, but okay. Miles. It's all right beach, though, isn't it? This is me, this. Loads of room. Not as clean as I thought it would be. There's pigeons knocking about, which you don't see on Baywatch. <laughs> all right, mate. Hope you arrived safely. I know you wanted a nice little convertible, so I've sorted you one out. Just head over to your hotel, and the keys are on reception. Oh, all right? Have a good drive. See you later. See, that'd be good if I get, like, a Hummer or uh, any of these, if it's got air con. Uh-oh. Can't argue, can I? I asked for a convertible. I want to see the car! <laughs> it's not what I had pictured. In fact, I think I've seen babies in prams bigger than this. I love it! <laughs> Why do people say they want to do the Route 66 thing? Am I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit and I'd love to have an orange, I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. Dude, this guy is mega miserable. Also, I was kind of... <laughs> I blame friends for this. I was kind of expecting there to be like, if it's so famous, it's on a bucket list. I don't know how long he's been driving for, but I kind of imagined there was, there, or at least there will be at some point, like tourist attractions. Like, I thought everywhere. Again, I blame friends because there was, I, th th there's an episode where yes, they have to do a long, very long road trip from New York to Las Vegas. And um, they had to, like, choose a route, and one had a beard of bees or whatever, a guy with a beard of bees, and the other had, like, a chicken playing checkers. And the whole route, that was it. Like, but I was expecting, like, a lot of those things. Oh, there's the... <laughs> there's the chicken that plays checkers. And, oh, right up front is, you know, a guy with a beard of bees. And I thought it was just going to be constant stuff to see, but I still don't, I still don't get it. All right, boy. I thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you are uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing and a little donkey and that when you were younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in a dance craze in America at the moment. Um, it's called Glee. <laughs> All right, boys, see you later. Okay. I'm shattered, do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into Lionel Blair, just like that. Good, good, good. Okay, do go, go like this. He, he. Yes. And now you see you're using your diaphragm. Ooh, that's good, I Carl. Him. I think you can sing. Me, 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 me. That's so good. Me, 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 me. Done. Get the dancers in. No, I'm gone. No, no, wait, oh, I... wait. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring the sync dancers in yet, honestly. I'd need to Okay, know okay, it's just that, you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. it um, you just want to do the dancing? Well, it sort of makes sense if I just do the dancing, because that's what the crowd can see. The singing, they're not going to be hearing my voice. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember, smile. <laughs> it's going to be so no, much fun. No misery. <laughs> it's not fun for everyone, is it? She was going, see, you're having fun. No, not really, no. No, I'm not. But is it just an American thing? Do they have fun better than us? The word fun annoys me. Someone says, you're coming around having some fun. No, I, uh, I'd rather not, actually. I want fun. What? It's a word I just don't use. And I believe she that. She goes over. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's very good. It's 
not my sort. Ah, his little look of pride. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Look, he's so proud. I just ah. Uh... It's not my sort of thing, singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. Where's the doctors? The plumbers? When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. <coughs> they need someone to come around and sing and dance. Loads of them. But we've got enough. <coughs> I love his um his his necessity for things being useful. Bugs being useful, animals being useful. You know, singing and dancing is useful, but a plumber is I love how in his simple little mind, if it's not useful to him, it's not useful to anybody. So um okay. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life changing moment. Oh Carl's finally found his destiny. I am I don't wanna do this. to dance a little bit oh my god this is one of the best things i've ever seen I've never been that Why does he always fail? Oh my god, everything hurts. <coughs> my stomach hurts and my face hurts and all of it just hurts. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but we're watching that again. <laughs> I have to see it again. So <laughs> from the beginning where the clothes just, he gets stuck in the clothes. I'm watching it again. If you want to fast forward, more power to you. But I got to see this again because this is probably one of the best things I have ever seen. Oh, my God. I love this guy. I've never been that embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic and stuff because of the things you set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. Oh, what? It was exactly the same feeling I had in my dream as that. Oh my God. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not particularly sort of Freudian or <laughs> symbolic, right? And anxiety. <laughs> Open the door when you're having a shit to yeah, annoy you. That's true, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> it's quite, yeah. quite a justified. That's, 
That's normal. Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Oh my god, dude, that was great. But I, I'm still so confused because I have such mixed signals on if Carl likes to dance or not. Because when he's not being asked to, he does join in and dance. And um, apparently people in comments are like, yeah, I've seen in interviews, he does like to dance. But every time they kind of guide him in dancing, he has a horrible time and he doesn't want to do it. So it's so confusing. But that was just too good. And I love, I absolutely love how he was just constantly looking at the girl next to him. Like, please get me out of this. <laughs> like, she could, dude. Wow. That was great. That was amazing. And um, you know what? In, in life, I'm going to start using that. When in doubt, just jazz hands. It'll get you through. That was fabulous. Oh, the little car. <laughs> You just gotta stretch your legs when you've been sat in a car all day. Especially that car. It's not this. It legit said. It freaking said a huge sign, do not pass, and they went in. Sure. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Dude. This reminds me of um, when I was young, my parents always had like really weird friends and a lot of like hippie friends and stuff. Just we, we met some bizarre people over the years. I remember one time uh, they took me to somebody's house, an older guy's house and like mega, mega hippie dude. And um, it was his, his big house in like a wooded area in like some of the hills or the mountains or whatever. I don't remember because I was young. But he had this gigantic garden and he made like a weird maze through the garden like with plants and stuff like it wasn't like just you could see everything all at once you kind of had to go through it and it was weird and the guy had thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands just like this but instead of bottles wind chimes. It was like the noisiest place ever and he called them his bells and he would like make some of them and he would hang different things like keys there was like metallic things hanging all over the place trying to imitate like bells and winds chimes and it was just it was so weird it was cool in a sense like i've never been there at a place like that before and then never again in my life have i been in a place like that it was very unique in particular and, and interesting but it was mega annoying as you can imagine like there was there wasn't any wind the day i was there and you could constantly hear like the wind chime and just everything knocking about so i, I could not imagine on like a windy day or like a bird getting lost in there or something it would make a mess dude but it it was really cool Visually, it was cool and like an experience. It was interesting, but this kind of reminded me of that because it looked prettier than this because there was plants and it was everything was metal and this is just kind of like <laughs> desert and glass bottles that kind of looks like trash, but organized trash. Jesus. What's it all about? Is it one man who's done this or is it is it a touristy thing and you meant to bring a bottle and Stick one on when you're here. I think it's just one guy's house. That you're not it's supposed not to serious trespass drink on. Problem, whatever it is, aren't he? I mean, to be honest, it's scary that he's not in. Because where is he? What is he doing? What is he? Do what? What's so? He's clearly drinking stuff so he can have more bottles to put there, duh, Carl. What is his life like? <laughs> Sitting and drinking. I don't drinking. know what I'm meant to get from it. I don't know if it's proving a point or if he's just a scruffy bastard. See, this is what they mean, isn't it, about it's not worth doing recycling back in Britain. Because there's me with my Marmite jar and my milk bottle and what have you. But if he's doing this, what's the point? I just always think about when it's time to move and you've got to sell your place. His, his target sort of market, there's not many people who would want this in the front garden. No one's going to turn up and go, do you know what, this is what I've been looking for. Two bedrooms, we're after that, load of shit in the garden. Throw it away and you have a, a huge space of dead grass. I mean, who doesn't want that? Right. I was kind of expecting them to get like very, <laughs> in very American fashion, since there was a huge sign that says do not pass. Um, I was expecting somebody, you know, with no teeth and, and just, you know, 
clumping over beer bottles and stuff with a shotgun, yelling at them, you know, that they're going to get shot for trespassing. <laughs> As in all the movies where something like kind of like that happened. I guess not. <laughs> oh, did I mention the guy, the old guy that I imagine was in overalls? Of course he is. Always. You can't, you can't operate. I'm sorry for pausing so much, but I've been told that my volumes were weird. So I tried to, I'm trying to make it better, but I, I'm working on it. And it's hard for me to know because I hear stuff differently after than you guys. It's just different. But anyway, you cannot operate a shotgun unless you have overalls on. It's like a, it's a U.S. rule, apparently. I uh, got a text from Steve, and he says this part of Route 66 goes through like the the old hippie area. So he just wants me to stop off and meet Valerie. She's into new age healing therapy. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Was that just shouting my name? Hello? I doubt it. Carl. Hello? Hello? Valerie. Hello. I'm Carl. Carl. Nice to meet nice you. To see you. Did you just shout my name? No, she may have. That's Kiwi. It's not doing Aww. it. Now. So you're a shaker? I'm a what? You're a shaker? Are you a hugger? Uh you want a hug? No, this is alright. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. All right. Hello. Hi. Clive. Clive. Nice to meet you. Clive. Hello. This is what we call the sandbox. This is Carl. Hey Carl. Hey. This is our beanbag hangout, and it's held space for a lot of really beautiful gatherings, a lot of connecting. Would you like to see inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Want, yeah. This is where we'll be gathering tonight. Who will be? Could be 15 or 20 people. It's called Cuddle Party. Have you heard of Cuddle Party? No, I've never heard of But hang on. I, yeah? I haven't been here long, but I've walked past four blokes, I one have. woman. Yes. So how does that work? They're coming. There'll be more women. You don't want to cuddle any men? Well, I don't want to cuddle strangers, really. <laughs> That's what went through my mind. I don't want to cuddle anybody. <laughs> probably going to start at 8, so you and I probably need to go and put our pajamas on. Pajamas. Why have I got to wear pajamas? Because, look, I, I am so comfy now. I've got shorts on. Be nice and baggy. I'm getting air to my legs. Well, I'm relaxed. I think I'm going to encourage you to push yourself and put on some PJs. She speaks like one of the Bucket list. people at a What do you want to do, Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too relaxed, because then it looks like I am up for anything. But this is saying... Is it? I'm new round here. Is there any part of you that thinks you might learn something from it? I'm sorry, but okay, cuddle party, pajamas and stuff. Is this like a um <laughs> Is it a code word for um like what other people might call a sexy party? Like what? <laughs> I've never heard of this before. It's weird. <sighs> Let's find out. No. I don't think there is. Touch can be very healing, and sometimes things come up we don't expect. So that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge, to speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice <laughs> and communicating, right? <laughs> we do get questions His here face. about erections, and they do happen from time to time. There's a level of discomfort, and what we're aiming for here is to be comfortable with that to be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. Would you like to hug? <laughs> you, you're not ready to hug me yet? No. Because I think we're getting on without it. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've, I've all, honestly, it's nothing against you. Okay. I haven't hugged. Uh, <laughs> the host. <laughs> I haven't hugged you. No. All right then. Just because I didn't want to be 
pushed into... I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's not like I came and I knew what was going on. I can't hug you now, because then Valerie will be going, hang on a minute. Oh, my God, are you making that up? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, Valerie you, wouldn't care. It, She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to and no, no to what you want to I'm say telling yes. you, it would bother you. Inside, you'd be, you'd be going, what is going oh, on? Oh, dear one. <laughs> <laughs> How long does this go on for this? <laughs> See, these are the kinds of things that I don't get how Ricky finds or the people at Sky or whatever. And yes, I, I, I've been informed and I understand that there's people that are just this, their job is dedicated to finding very weird stuff to go and film. But how, like, this, this seems like very exclusive. Kind of thing. I don't know. It's it's so weird. It's like I, I it, it it baffles me how how the team at Sky and Ricky's you know the production and everything how they got contact of this and like you know what you're going there. It just it baffles me. Yeah. Are people paying to be here? Right, that's what it's about then. Good question. Of course she's going to say yeah, cuddles good for you. Of course she's doing the sell job to us. She's not going to go, it's a lot of old bollocks, this, but don't tell anyone. But good on her. I always think don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. But, you know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't, wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. A, 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 A. D what, what? What did I just pause on? I forgot my point completely. <laughs> but it was mainly, hey, okay, this hippie stuff isn't all everybody, all of us. It's just, just like anything, really. It's just certain people. I don't, like, the U.S. is huge with a quite high population. You can't put everybody in the same bag. Five women to you, so are they painting them? What? The... How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be okay? That's worse than a cuddle. Right? That is a cuddle. That's more, that's more than a cuddle, that. <laughs> what if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Yeah, that's all right, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just, that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. <laughs> In London, you do. It's a nightmare if in rush hour. Too packed. Really? Yeah. Mm. You'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's enough fun for me, anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna. I've got to get going because the traffic's. <laughs> the traffic and that. What about the traffic? You'd love it, dude. That was great. <laughs> that was a really long license plate. That was an experience. This is a bit of a uh, tourist attraction. There you go. Let's have a look. <clears throat> no else happening, is there? Wow, that's big. Big fish in a small pond. Mm-hmm. The sign says it's, it was an anniversary present. Bloke who built it. Built it for his wife. Well, that's nice, I guess. Odd gift, isn't it? And then the problem is, he did this. What do you get next year? You're just making yourself a bigger problem. Susanna Way says it's not about the gifts. She says it's, it's the thought and everything. You, right. you never go out of your way to get me something, you know, different. She says she's always given me hints, but I don't hear her. Do you know what I mean? She sort of says, oh, I've told you I've wanted this, I've told you I wanted that. I believe her. You never her. listen. And then she gets fed up. That's the thing, you see, about America, all that positive thinking and stuff. She has positive thinking. She thinks, right, I've told him I want a new ring or a pair of earrings. He'll get it me. And she has that positive thinking about it. But the problem with positive thinking, when it doesn't, doesn't, when it doesn't happen, you get negative. 
and most of the time it doesn't happen. So she, she she's pissed off most of the time. That's true, though. That's a thing. People getting mad at something they themselves, a scenario they themselves invented to happen and it didn't happen. That and they get mad. That is a very real thing, and that is a huge problem. <laughs> Like, yeah, picturing, you know, your boyfriend buying you whatever, a necklace because you hinted you wanted it. And you're 100% sure he must have gotten that hint. He cannot be that stupid. And then he gets you a scarf instead of the necklace. Could, and you've been for weeks imagining him getting you that necklace and how happy you're going to be. And you, you like build it up in your head. And you're like, oh, man, this is going to be so romantic. It's going to be so great. It's, he's going to be so thoughtful. It's going to be lovely. I'm going to love him so much when he does that. And, he just gives you like a scarf or a card or whatever and then you get mad and that's not his fault that's your fault because you just you kind of made that scenario on your own and if it didn't happen just like it's 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 nobody's fault it's just it's your fault for believing it was you know actually gonna happen when there was no evidence whatsoever anywhere that it probably would so this guy's got some you know Proper thoughts, man. Proper thoughts. So she, she, she's pissed off most of the time. Well, she wouldn't want this anyway. Hmm. I don't know a lot of people that would. I wouldn't. Carl, uh, just let you know, this part of Route 66 uh, takes you through the old Wild West where a gold rush happened uh, back in the past. And so uh, we've arranged for you to spend some time with a modern day gold prospector. All right, he's going to take you to his mine and you'll know you'll be you'll be uh, searching for gold. And obviously, you know, the old rule, find his keepers. So, you know, dig well, search well and uh, good luck to you. All right, bye. I don't know if this is an everybody thing or just a me thing, but when I was when I was a kid, I wanted to do do that so bad. I wanted to go to mine and just dig for gold. I'd like <laughs> it was it it was a thing to me, and I totally wanted to go, and um, I've never been. <laughs> okay. Looking for gold. Be good. I'll get Suzanne some. She's good because she'll be impressed with that oh. present, and it's free, so we're both happy. There you go. Is this like a proper trailer park? Looks like it. I've heard of these. Doesn't I mean, look like... I lived in a tiny flat in London. But it was still a bit bigger than that. Doesn't look like they found much gold if this that is how they live, is right? Ridiculous. You can wash up whilst you're in bed. Do you know what would annoy me with that? If someone comes and you don't want to answer the door. They know you're in, don't they? Because there's nowhere to hide there. See, these are all right. These are like what we used to stay in in Wales. I, quite, I think I'd be happy with this. Because you just always feel like you're on holiday. I don't know if that works that way, but OK. Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. I'm Carl. Nice to you? meet you, man. You all right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, just a bit off. You wanted to find some gold? Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting some for my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck and we'll go find some gold back. Dude, like, he can't be successful in gold mining and gold finding. Like, no. <laughs> I was expecting a proper place with, you know, proper riches and golden columns and the house painted gold. And this is like way on the other side. So I would be very confident is all I'm saying. Back there. All right. I bet you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? How's that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like why I'm here. Yeah. Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you've never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
slow down a bit here. Slow oh. down. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You like that, huh, Carl? Is it not another way? This commute every day. This is an uh, example of the explosion that we would get, you know, to open up a new tunnel. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. He doesn't have overalls. Damn it. All right, everybody. Well, I get a bit further back because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. You sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. I don't think you will. Just take your time and be, be at ease. You're, you're fine. Safe distance. Is it going to be loud? No, nah, not too loud. <laughs> fucking, it was loud. Oh, I thought you were talking about the explosion. No, I meant this. Oh, fucking hell. You want an earplug? Jesus. No, yeah, I just need a... Have you got another one? This for a coconut. <laughs> Ah, uh, a little bit, a few inches too high. Rack too high, that one was in. too high. Fast, aim fast. Aim it on there and do it. Breathe, breathe. Calm do down. Fuck it out. There you go, Carl, you got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good stress release. I could imagine. So I used to play on these all the time, at the fair. You know, we had to hit a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. He used to always win coconuts. I don't you know why like it was always coconut. coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. I don't know why they always... That's the only time you see him, isn't it? You can't see him in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut, you've got to go to the fair. We'll let you light <laughs> one this time. We ought to stick it in that crack right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? OK. Is he serious? Blowing that up? <laughs> Carl! Oh. Screw the cameraman! Just haul oh, ass! Oh. Any any second now, say ten seconds. Count down, Carl. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh. Uh, you only got to what? To eight, huh? Did you feel the, the compression through the air? It's funny how the guy is like mega calm and they're Shooting stuff, blowing stuff up. <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous. Sucks your ears. Yeah, it kind of kind of relaxing though, isn't it, to do that? Not really. No. No, no. no. It's more adrenaline. Is that your idea of fun round here? Eh? Uh, it used to be, but I got blown up a while back. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I like the way you tell me that now. <laughs> yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. I don't. Is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never wanted to work down a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching for snakes. What about spiders? Oh, spiders! There's spiders anywhere. I can't be doing Like cave spiders? How big are they? What's that there? There's a bat. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Don't do that. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> kind of felt safe with him. Did it's you? like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having desperate down with me. I don't know who that one is. One hand right imagine. here. Yeah. One hand right here. Yeah. Kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Went looking for gold. Shake Didn't find any. It. Now you take it. So it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what I was relying on, really. Man. I'm after something God. bigger, though. I oh yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I love. I like Joe though. He had his vest on. Size of my ready for action. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. What was your other, uh, the rest of your trip uh, like? Went to a cuddle party. Couple parties, huh? Cuddle. A cuddle party? Mm. What the hell's that? <laughs> I told you! Meet up in a tent and a load of strangers and have a hug. See? That's a new one on me. Not everybody's heard well, of that before. Were They're both. That's a new one on me. I hope they were women. 
They're both. Uh. <laughs> it's both! That's been one good thing, actually, about Route 66. It is a good um, sort of road to listen to music on. They're all a bit depressing, the songs are like, but good stories. Pinball Wizard, I've never understood that one. That's deaf, dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? He's got no senses there. Deaf, deaf, dumb and blind kid sure plays the mean pinball or something. He's no idea what he's doing. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. Why is it deaf, dumb and blind? You can be deaf and blind, but that has nothing to do with being dumb. Voter. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. Could have just given some buttons to it. He's no idea what he's doing. I imagine this man has never heard of Helen Keller. <laughs> Walk for miles. <laughs> Treat to have a piss at. Why would they film that? That's, it's not for me, that, is it? That isn't the next thing Ricky and Steve have got me. That's what I wanted. That's what I had in my head. All right, Roy. Um, we can stop moaning about the little car I got you now. So I've got you something bigger. All right. Always trying to please. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right. Go. See you later. You're Ronnie. Fine. All right, Ronnie. Very fine. Fucking thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it every time. <laughs> Neat, Ronnie. Do we get to park a tire on this thing? Hard looking bloke. Like this. Yeah, you know, he had nice. tattoos on his legs. For me, that's yeah. when you know someone's hard. Not, not the poncy ones either, not like Latin and all that, or, uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. Just like this? Is that the only way in? Only way in. Doesn't use aftershave, smells of like WD 40. <laughs> what the fucking hell! I'm not getting in this. I'm not getting in this. Fucking hell! You wanna, you wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? No. You don't want you, you don't wanna go for a ride? No, not huh? not not, with, not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, there isn't even a proper seat. I can't get in this. Okay. Tommy. the little legs. Okay, I was wondering who's driving and from where. Okay, 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 I get it. So he, that's just like a a visitor dome? I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'd feel safer with my head inside the car. Car, truck, monster truck. Ronnie! Fine! Stop! 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 Ronnie! Right, that's fine. Want to try it again? No, no, you're all right, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Why was he running away? <laughs> no, I mean, look at the size of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck. It's just monster wheels. It's big wheels. And that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. It had a monster glove compartment. That's more useful. Useful, look again. At, look at mine compared to that. <laughs> I thought Route 66 was meant to be about freedom, but it isn't because it's really restricting. It's one road. And I don't think I like that in life. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of sat-navs. Getting lost, that's a good thing in life, I think. 
because that's how you find new things. When Columbus was in his boat, I wonder if he was trying to find America, or if he just got in the boat and went, I'm going out for a Sunday, you know, sail, and he bumped into it and went, bloody hell, look at this I've found. I think my problem with Route 66 is it's already laid out, and I'm just on it. It's not my journey, is it? All right. <laughs> sure. Hello, Carl, Steve here. I know you're fascinated by people with different outlooks, different ways of seeing the world. We sort of a little treat for you, mm -hmm. spending some time with an Amish family. You know, they essentially live life like it's still in the uh, 18th century. So uh, it should be interesting to see how you cope without all of the uh, modern on. Mm -hmm. Aren't the Amish meant to be like great believers in sharing and all that, not being selfish? No idea. This might be a good place to get Susanna a gift for free. What a cheap bastard! Hello. Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good. Good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning my head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How, How are you I'm doing Carl. there? I'm... Come on out, girls. Oh. You were hoping to go inside, I bet. <laughs> you to get out of this. It's roasting. Do you have suntan lotion? What's that? Suntan lotion. A hat? If you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's easiest. That's it. That's great. OK. okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, boy. You want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to you do You want to remove your shoes, go barefoot and get a treatment? Go barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Get it delivered. Except yeah. coconuts. You just go on the uh, on the computer, tick boxes, six eggs, bread, beans. They just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd, I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. They seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. Everything's in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult, and they want to skip being a kid. Yes, I, I love being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life, playing out on my bike. It's hard to imagine Carl as a kid, right? Because he's, like, so grouchy and moany and grumpy. And now he's, like, saying he loved being a kid. It's like, was he a grumpy child? Like, I, it's, it's hard for me to imagine him, like, being a proper happy kid. He did show us his bike skills, though. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, a, you see, I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think. But say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? James like you haven't a, read a James Bond? Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it kind of a mystery? No, he's, a, uh, he's like a British agent. He's a, you know, undercover. He solves crime and he's been around for ages. Come on in. So what? Out of the, out of the sun. A little bit cooler now. Oh, that's here. nicer now, though, isn't it? Good news, Polly. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know, I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present when I've been away. What oh, sure. She... Oh, okay. I'm thinking oh, peas, man. peas are fine. How about... Uh, she's not going to like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with peas. Honestly, they're like garden peas. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're not... They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. <laughs> OK. Mushy peas, that's the thing we have in England, mushy peas. Really? With fish and chips. That is fine, and it's a good size. Is that okay? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's just... okay. I love, I love, oh my god, I love that they are laughing at him. I love it. A good size. Is that okay? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's we're just... okay. We're going to throw that out. <laughs> You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest of things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. Cos she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. She's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. 
The Amish don't moan about it. And but whilst you're at it, get in the garden, sort stuff out. Get off your ass. That's the thing, eh? They, they do <laughs> graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish knocking about, and I'm a fat because they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air. They're not eating crap. They're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. It's just the beard that's daft. I don't think I could pull off a beard quite like you, though. What's that? I don't think I could suit a beard. Nice guy. Come on, boy. Poor Suzanne, man. Poor Suzanne. I think moaning's good for you. Makes you feel alive, a good moan, a good rant. So that's why I couldn't live in America. Because everyone thinks you should be happy. It's all about living the dream. If you're living the dream, how do you know you're awake or if you're asleep? It's exactly the same. That's what I quite like. I quite like having bad dreams. You wake up and you go, oh, thank God for that. If your dreams are better than your life, what is the point? Your dreams should never be better than your real life. Unless you're a sloth. <laughs> I love how he just dreams are only when you're, you know, unconscious and resting. Dreams aren't hopes. Hopes and dreams are goals. You know? <laughs> what about the, sl the sloth? What? Unless you're a sloth. Because then they're asleep a lot, aren't they? Okay. Got a text from Steve. He says, um... We understand you are getting a little bit bored of driving, so we have arranged a flight for you to see the end of Route 66 from above. I'm not a big fan of flying. He knows that. I've got to meet this bloke called Greg. Greg? Yep. Hey, Greg. How are you? Where is Greg? Oh. Like I'm uh, about to do something I'm not looking forward to. You want to go flying? You see, I've never, I've never been in a plane that's... Open. It's open. Yeah, I sort well, of have that fear of wind hitting against me, not well, being able to breathe. You're not. Okay, 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 okay. See, this is like a good bucket list thing, and this is something. As long as I can be sure it's safe, I would do. It'd be fun to go on a plane, like a plane like that, with somebody that knows properly how to drive and everything, pilot or whatever. That that would that's a good thing. That's a good bucket list thing. That if I actually had one because a lot of people have been asking me what's on my bucket list i don't know <laughs> I've, I've never thought about one but that's a fun thing i would add that to mine if i had one i'm gonna get to ride in the seat that much you're gonna ride up on top of the wing that'd be your best view see that would be fun scarier but fun i like how he said it so like just serious <laughs> no one seems to care no need to do this these days. That's not why you do There's it. Those are cheap airlines. You can get a seat for a quid. Here I am. That doesn't seem accurate. Standing on a wing. Wink. You've got to grab hold of these. Remember, I'm going to be high up. You've got to grab hold of these. Pull yourself up. Put your foot there. Well, hang on. So put your foot there. Look how tight it is here. You can't put your foot on that. You can't put your foot on that. It's like playing Twister. Okay, that would be scary, but... There's all these sharp things I keep fun. catching myself on. These nuts and bolts. I'm not doing it, Jamie. I Forget it. it. You've seen that I've tried. I don't have to do all this. It was Route 66 was the idea of the whole thing. How very It's always Carl. making me look like a knob. I mean, why have I got to wear this, really? Spider-Man at a funeral. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome, but um, clearly the suit is so no loose clothes could snag on anything. I would imagine, but oh wow. I'm not doing it. I told you at the beginning, I said, it's Route 66, we had a chat, you talked about bungee jumping and all that other daft stuff, I said, I don't want to do any of that. I look like a right fucking knobhead, and there's an old, it's not even a new plane, Ricky, it's a really old one. We sat in your office. What's your worry? Are you, what, what's your worry? Is it safety? Yeah. It, honestly, it's an old... But Carl, 
this would look great. This would be a great ending to the to the show when you're on there on a wing, <laughs> oh, just whizzing along. But this is do it. You... No, because this is my bucket list. You'll be a hero. No. Love this. No. I thought you'd chicken out. So it's not chickening out. I've got some house. You are. You are. No, it's not. It's not chickening out. So um, <laughs> I've got some house arranged for you. So okay. Well, do that instead, then, mate. All right. Then where is it? What? 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 It's no scarier than dancing with glee. Trust me. But it does involve getting on stage again. Oh boy. And remember, okay. You've got to do one or the other. If you don't join in and get on stage, you've got to do the wing walk. Where am I? Yeah, oh, this is I International Mr. This. Leather. No. <laughs> the 33rd Annual International Mr. Leather in Chicago. Forget it. I'm, I'm not getting on stage wearing that. <laughs> They're all in leather? Oh my god. Even. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look at oh my god! Dude, they're really high! Oh my god! were wear a small leather outfit on stage or, or, or the plane and he cho actually chose the plane that's amazing especially like with all the ridiculous things we've seen him we've seen and we've seen him in a freaking a leave leaf leave skirt we've seen him in his underpants a bunch of and we like i mean dude <laughs> It wouldn't have been any, any different. The Mexican wrestling suit was like mega ridiculous. All of it was just so ridiculous. I could not believe he did the plane. But that is amazing. And the pilot is an ass. <laughs> what was with screaming with his tongue out? What is that? That was so weird. <laughs> I've never seen anybody scream with their tongue out like that. Uh, except like in a cartoon, I guess. But, well, Carl is pretty much live-action cartoon. That was fabulous. I'm proud of Carl. I am proud of him. And, um, do you know what? That looks like fun. I'd, I'd probably have the exact same reaction if I were ever to do that. Like, I would hate it as, as well. But it looked like fun, and it looked awesome, and it was an amazing close to an episode. That was just fabulous it wasn't even like the close of the season it was just like the close to this episode <laughs> brilliant loved it loved it good for you carl i am excited and i am happy and i am proud of you sir that was awesome i'm so happy right now anyway there you go guys see guys make a bucket list and make you know things reality because just life goes by way too fast and it sucks. And look at the things you could be doing. Look at the enjoyment you could have. <laughs> if sometimes you just, you know, 
suck it up, take the courage, and go get stuff done. Anyway, guys, that was just freaking awesome. I love this man, and I love this show. Brilliant. I am happy. Whatever you have to do, have a fabulous one, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will be around.